iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in ihdina siratal mustaqim siratal ladzina an'amta 'alaihim ghairil maghdubi 'alaihim walad dhalin inna fatahna laka fathan mubinan liyafra laka Allah ma taqaddama min zanbika wa ma ta'akhkhar wa yutima ni'matahu 'alayka wa yahdi siratan mustaqiman wa yasukallahu nasran azizan huwa allazi anzala as-sakinata fi qulubil mu'minina liyazdadu imanan ma'a imanihim Walillahi junudu samawati wal-lari wa kana Allahu aliman hakiman Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun Wassalamun ala al-mursalin wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin Amin Amin, shukran imam um, uh, Bishop, you have the floor please Thank you chairman Lord God almighty The Lord of grace, of power And might and adoration And glory we come before you this morning hour and we submit ourselves under you and we do ask that you protect and guide us through our sessions throughout this day. We bring before you the witnesses that will be testifying this morning and we do ask that by Holy Ghost power you shall grant them to speak the truth and nothing else but the truth, and grants the commission the designing spirits to design between truth and falsehood, and also grants the general populace and those that are in the diaspora the patience to allow the due process of the law to take its course. And at the end of the day, you, the just judge, will reward each and every one Accordingly, this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, um, Bishop Padeko. Um, Council, we finished the um, match. We announced yesterday uh, the PATP uh, theme, and I believe um, we are starting another new theme. Gradually, we are moving from one theme to the other from no uh, January 7, 7th, um, uh, 2019, all the way to now, to this moment, we uh, have been going from uh, theme, uh, one theme to the other. I believe we are entering a new, or starting a new theme. Can you just uh, clarify the point um, uh, for the Commission Council, please? Um, good morning, Mr. Chairman, uh, commissioners, and members of the audience. Indeed, we are starting a new theme today, uh, the institutional hearing uh, on the National Intelligence Agency. Um, this hearing um, would be segmented. We would start with uh, victims uh, as an entry point into the subject matter, and uh, we would hear the various types of victimization the NIA was involved in and uh, the reasons behind those victimizations in order to show oh, really that uh, the NIA was getting involved in things that concern them, which are their traditional responsibilities, but also to show that the NIA was used as an instrument to met out terror on the people and was also an institution that could be used privately by individuals. You have your own problem, you go to the NIA and use the NIA to do your own bidding. Uh, those are issues we would want to bring out. We would also uh, want to bring out witnesses uh, who would talk about how the NIA was administered, how it was run. Uh, with a view to say, showing uh, some of the uh, institutional defects uh, of the NIA, including the uh, unbridled power that was bestowed to the, to the NIA and how such power was abused. Um, we would also look at the issues that are relevant for reform of the NIA. Uh, already the institution is making some effort at reforming itself. Um, the Commission would look into some of those issues with a view to ensure harmonization of our recommendations 
uh, to bring it in line uh, with um, the reform measures that are being done. Already the name NIA is toxic. Uh, perhaps maybe a change of name would be in order. I see they call themselves now SIS or something like that. <laughs> perhaps maybe that is something that may be considered uh, for recommendation. But uh, this is essentially what the institutional hearing would entail. But of course, you know, such a hearing can never be complete if we do not hear uh, the persons who are adversely mentioned as having either abused authority or have uh, committed uh, rights violations. Of course, the NIA was, uh, was uh, uh, a torture chamber, pretty much, uh, if, you, if you will. And uh, uh, those who were responsible for carrying out the massive tortures, the horrible uh, situations that took place at the NIA would be called upon to come and answer for the violations that have taken place. Already some members of the top, former members of the NIA, the top bra, are being prosecuted uh, for the murder of uh, Mr. Solo Sandeng. Um, we would not go into that particular case because we would not wish to duplicate efforts or uh, bring out situations which may have some uh, impact on the, on that, on the cr criminal case that is already ongoing. So we would sidestep that one uh, and deal with all the other issues that are revealed by our investigations. Uh, so on that note, the hearing uh, would be staggered to deal with uh, three different subjects, uh, the victimization, uh, witnesses of uh, institutional failings, and uh, adversely mentioned persons. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, for today, we have two witnesses. Uh, both of them uh, are victims of rights violations by the NIA. And uh, Maria Masingate would lead our first witness. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you, Council. There's a very clear roadmap um, uh, for this uh, theme. Thank you so much for that. If you're ready to bring in the witness, um, uh, please proceed to do so now. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, Commissioners. And good morning to the audience. Mr. Osha, can you please help us with the witness? I Lamin Bojang. I Lamin Bojang. Do swear that. Do swear that. I'll speak the truth. I will speak the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, before uh, Madam Singate will start her questioning of the witness, I just want to indicate that. Uh, the topics of violations, the different types of violations that took place at the NIA is just too many. Uh, we have selected some as a sample for presentation before the Commission. And uh, one massive violation that happened uh, was the attack on the media by President Jami using the NIA as a tool to do so. And in such attack, there was uh, this hacking of Freedom newspaper. And uh, a reader's list was obtained 
and uh, the NIA went on a massive campaign of arrests and uh, violation of rights of those Gambians who, against whom they had evidence to have been reading Freedom newspaper. So we have had a few witnesses on that subject, but under the rubric of attack against the media. Uh, on this particular occasion, we would still examine that, but look at how ordinary Gambians who were reading Freedom newspaper were dealt with by the government. Uh, and hence, this particular witness we're bringing in today. Other witnesses who would come were, would be called on other different topics. Say, for instance, a private complaint to the NIA, and the NIA used to do that complainant's bidding. So we would give different flavors of the various type of violations that took place at the NIA. Mariama, proceed. Uh, but they would all come under the umbrella of um, NIA and a treatment of them. Of, yes, NIA treatment of Gambians, or how NIA was used as an instrument to instill fear in the, in the, in, in yeah. among Gambians. Thank you. Thank you for the clarification. Please proceed, Council. Thank you very much. <coughs> Good morning to you, Mr. Witness. Good morning. As you already know, my name is Maria Masingate, and I'll be guiding you with your evidence this morning. Today, the topics that we will discuss are as follows. We'll first deal with uh, your background information so that the Commission will get to know who you are as a person. Then we'll deal with the Freedom Newspaper Saga and your connection to it. We'll deal with your arrest and detention at the NIA, the torture meted out on you while you were at the NIA, the condition of your detention, the violations you witnessed while you were at the NIA, and um, we'll also deal with the impact of your detention at the NIA. All right, how that? So we can start now? Yes, we can. Just feel free, be comfortable. If you do not understand a question that I put to you, let me know and I'll rephrase the question. Uh, just wait for three seconds after I've asked my question so that there will be no overlapping of speeches and the conversation will move smoothly. Okay, I noted. Thank you very much. Uh, can you please tell the Commission your names? My name is Lamin Bojan. When and where were you born? I was born and bred in Tujarin village, Combo South, on, on August 18th, 1976. Can you please give us a brief background of your education? I attended Tujaran Primary School. Then in 1990, this was from 1983 um, to 90. Then 1990, 91 academic year, I enrolled at Newstrat High School, where I sat to the GC all levels in June 1995. Then September 95, I proceeded to Ice High School to do my A-levels, which I completed in June 1997. Then in 1999, in May, um, I enrolled at London Computers to do basic computer training for three months from May to June 1999. Then I had a break and further enhanced my computer training from January 2001 to April 2002. It was during that time that, after that time that I joined the MRC and during my um, early days in MRC, I had a lot of hands-on training, um, informal hands-on training then later in 2007, I enrolled at the Newstrad Management and I mean a, a Training and Accountancy Center to do a certification in Microsoft Certified System Administration that is called MCSE, which lasted for nine months. Then in July 2008, 
I proceeded on doing my Microsoft Certified System Engineering MCSE certification at the Lasting Solutions. Um, in the last three months of that certification course, I got an acceptance in December 2008 to enroll at the University of the Gambia to study computer science. And I graduated. Unfortunately, I was supposed to graduate in December 2012 for due to other factors like the university being moved from Carnifing to Brikama, including work commitments. I ended up graduating in 2014 with a BSc Honours in Computer Science. Thank you very much for that brief introduction. Uh, you did mention that you worked at the MRC in 2007. 2002. 2002. Right. Thank you. September 30th, precisely. Can you tell us what uh, the, your job description was at the MRC? When I joined initially, um, I was a, an assistant data entry clerk, mainly responsible for entering research data into um, a computerized database system. Then I remained in that role for a while, then I got promoted to a fully flagged data entry clerk. Until 2007, on May 1st, when I got promoted to the position of a data supervisor, a position I held for three years. Then I got promoted again to assistant data manager. Um, I held that position for 10 months. Then I moved to research records manager for another three years. Then I acted as a data manager for about five, six months. Then in 2014, January, I became a data manager. Then in, while, acting as, while serving as a data manager in 2015, I doubled again as the head of the Gambian National Rex Cancer Registry, responsible for all the cancer data in the country. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Bojang. Uh, please, I'll interrupt you for a bit here. I think. Um, they will want the interpreter to interpret your testimony in uh, the Mandinka language. That's so if you can kindly wait for the Mandinka interpreter to be seated so that uh, he can interpret while you're speaking. That's fine. <coughs> Is the Mandinka interpreter seated? Yes. Please, can I get a confirmation if the Mandinka interpreter is seated? Can I go on now? Are we good to go now? Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much. So, Mr. Bojang, can you tell me where you were in uh, 2006? Mr. Bojang, I was in 2006. I was on postings with the MRC Gambia at Farafene. I was on the MRC Samba Farafene and the Samba Farafene. And at that time, you were still a data entry clerk, correct? Cool. Yes, I was. Can you tell us about the incident leading to the Freedom Newspaper saga during that time? Um, in, in those days, we... Um, when I say we, I'm talking about me and my colleagues. Um, we used to read Freedom newspaper a lot at, at work. Akoetelo, utumu na ni amu akoetelo ati nado kunyolo akafunyolo. Ako eka Freedom kibar kaito karam bake 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 watembo. Um, because it was, if I'm not mistaken, the first of its kind in the Gambia, an Ako. online newspaper for that matter. Ako kato na mamfili wole kibar kaitu followi eka me alon kwa kanani in computer silo lela eka fomei online Gambia Banko kanjang. 
and because internet in those days was not as it is today. Ako watu lo lukono internet amanta ra kering ko abenyami mbi. We mostly or only rely on our office computers to browse the internet. Ako watu mo ikajiki computer drone la menu be office lo lukono purka dum internet kono. And because um, Freedom was online, so I was one of the readers and I subscribed. By subscription, I mean, I mean, there is this page on which you can enter your personal information. That is your name, your telephone numbers, your email address, your workplace address, your home address. <laughs> e o tembo foye to safe e taradula anin kibar jama membe dending ite mari fo ngokno la kibar la karola e kawlu be safe jele was uh, providing your personal details was it a condition to subscribe to this uh, online paper oh pour ni de be subscribe la je wala ni be do now online fo program on yindo fo sartu nyanto le ma warato fo sartu le mbam pour pour ye to ke je ani to ikonto ani la email ol yo be do ndi je ba um the fields were available okay i may like i'm a data person so maybe i will use certain terms that if you need clarification on. The fields are available for you to enter that information, but whether it is a mandatory provision or not, I can't remember. But the fields were there for you to provide that information. Ako, bunda lubije le puriyo kibaro lu dundije. Bidungo tembo, hakilo botala le fokulo meya lonko wajibo le puru enyanta kela le inawana dumbang wa abelare nunyame wa tembo aka hakilo botala le bari bunda lubije le meya lonko enyanta kibaro dundila wa bunda leto meya lonko etefongo kum kibaro le mwaldi. During those days, what kind of uh, news does the Freedom newspaper broadcast? Oja maanola. Freedom newspaper, it can be a good thing. They've been broadcasting news on, on, on the current, on, I mean, on the then government. I mean, they've been, to be honest, they've been very critical of the government. They've been very critical of the APRC party. But besides that, they, I mean, broadcast any other news, especially about public, I mean, servants. What do you mean? e man sakunda ka tilimbali alu men ke ika fole han fo ka man sakunda do ya o kama andu ka o kukli mo le france amba aprc patio kama wari aprc patio le be mara rola no wotumo e ka o lakol fonalu fole e nin ika itandi wo ye kolu menu ke yo andu hana man da wala e kana kibaro lu fintin le meyalon ka kibaro fason jamalu ka o bele fintin di ila e kibaro lu to Will I be correct to say that the Freedom newspaper was quite critical of the APRC government? For ako fonyi mbe tili na labanka pour ayafo ko Freedom newspaper mu kibar bundal me yalon ko man aka APRC man sa kundani aka kajafi bakele. Yes. Ha. Tell us about um, what happened with respect to the freedom newspaper silang afony moli munana tanake kula men sababuta freedom newspaper la kibar bundala so on on this particular day um on may 23rd 2006 i mean we came to the office akonyi lumula me karotil muanin sabo 2006 in at office o kono my then supervisor i mean just got into the internet and called my attention to um sort of a broadcast on the web page of freedom newspaper ala nyaton ko nata wudunta office ko no drone waya ate hakilo bulandi ka fayon ko dinkira jube web page wolam e ka kibaro lu fintindi bunda manager pour assez o dinkira jube bang the statement was like i pandirim by to code not i mean not exactly but the information was that i pandirim by has stop publishing freedom newspaper and has pledged allegiance with my brother Ibu Jalo to join the APRC campaign. I Lo is the is the list of people who have been providing me information about the APRC government. I mean je safirin je wolam nyinti nte pa nder mbay nimba dingo
Both in Farafenya at the time. We'll move through the Farafenya and Nunde Otumo. Lamin Dabo, a then a data entry clerk at Keneba, MRC Keneba, I mean. We'll move Lamin Dabo, Womukibar Bundu, Womukibar Safilati, MRC Laduku, Bundala Nungutumo, Membe Keneba. Amela Kamara working with our HR department at Fajara. Amela Kamara, Maya Longo, and in Abe Edukola Nu MRC La Bundala Membe Fajara. One Lena Seka, who was an intern at HR then, MRC HR then. Lena. As a HR, I mean Human Resources Department. Lena, a condom. Lena Seka. Lena Seka, who moon dunkuto let him remember do kola nun, ila duku bunda la barbitun, mole mea long cabe duku, karan cane utumo, ila duku la la caroleca, bunda me HR. By and large, this is what I can remember about my colleagues. Lako asenyin hakilo si bula no nyili lela kafunyo lwa du kunyo lwa menu fanal to bula ndije. So your name and the names of five other colleagues were published on this website. Yes. Munda ite irafan kundi ngwa ni nyimmo lulu kota ngwa leni metuwa fote ngi yal tolto kankula nyimmo website oto. Did they state the reasons for publishing these names? Dalilol fojele ban dalilol me asabu enyun tulu kankulaba. Not anything besides the information I've given earlier that Pandirimbai had claimed to stop producing Freedom newspaper and that he had pledged allegiance with his brother Ibu Jalo to join the APRC campaign. Nga manke nga kibaro menfonu mfolo to kafoko ate Pandirimbai ana abadi ngo Ibu Jalo Iteli yele matale saing, iteli duntale, APRC pati wakono. Andu ite freedom kibar kaito la kulu fintindi la koteke. Na manke woti, ani iteli tolu menu fintindi wanya, ima na femfem kotefo koteke. And uh, how did you receive this news? What did you make of it? That it Bandari had switched allegiance to the APRC and several names of his subscribers were published. Ita nying kibaro nyi ya ya jimuta nyadi le kafoko pandere mbae silang ayala kano nying ayayala mandi le APRC le aning mo kota ngolo. Ita woje nyadi le. I didn't believe it. I I mean my initial reaction then was that no, this page was hacked. Akama lala. The website was hacked. Akama lala. Akokadu watembo ati lata minna nung amunta ikafome hacking walem ka diyaku ya dundolu le kibaro bunda la ila pejo lukono. Fero nyina akate ye amira ko tumo wole keta my reason being akala dalilo mu nyina tinu andere of very well knew that we were not informants or if not if at least all of us were not informants ako ka to pa andere mbay yalo na ko itelu manke molu ti men ka kibaro lu di dolu la ka ko pa andere yolo ne kende kende ke itelu manke kibar di la ti itelu mu mole ti men ka kibaro lu karando nga danta woldo so your name and those of your colleagues were published as informers of the Freedom newspaper. Yes. Ha. Not only mere informants, but those giving information about the APRC government or the Freedom newspaper. Amanga ko nindi ko eka kibaro dam mandi de bariko iteleka kibaro di. Freedom kibar kaito la menke na mansakunda ni mbanko la kibaro liko iteleka wadi freedom kibar kaito la. And at this time, the people that you had identified were all working for the MRC, correct? Muna uwa tuwa la ite nyi mwole mbe tuwa sute tengu, wolbe uja maano la bebe duwa kuwala nung MRC le. Yes, we were all working with MRC. Kwa haa, ito lbebe duwa kuwala nung MRC le utumo. Did any of them have any affiliation with any political parties then? 
Umol kono ani defa unkundi umol kono. Fo mo soro nda jeleme alongo ay choki nyolo soro politiko la karola bang. I didn't know that. Akama walongo tumo. But in my case, no. Akundung hanate fo. Wasn't affiliated with any party. Amantara politik party wo party to. Can you tell us what happened afterwards? Silam fo iza fo no nyem mune nata na ke ukola. So we, we were there, then um, on Wednesday, we, we walked normally, we went home. I mean, Wednesday, we reported back to work. This was the following day, because it was on Tuesday, 20, 23rd. Then this was the following day, Wednesday, 24th. Bitu arabalungu somanda karoti limu ni nani inatana do kula somanda kwe dalta kila nyami. So some um, security personnel, one of whom I recognize to be an NIA officer because he originated from Banya Kang. I knew him because um, they all did their primary school in Tujaring in those days. Ako wo security lu natana mu be kono me yalon ka ateyo sutele katu wo yala primary karambun ke ba nya kan karam wuleto so wala na ateyo long biriwol nata ayoje ayo mari sute and not only that um during my time at farafenya i used to spend a lot of time at the police quarters akondo amanda wala wato mem fana be do kola farafenya aka wati jamale ke police wala dinkira nyinto police wala taradulato so i recognize them to be security personnel ako bira ye jedron ay along ko nyilmu security leti wala men be do kola canton en tankadala they came through um, our station administrator then bacham 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 ako inata do ko bunda nyi mem marata do ko lalla je ka fay bacham bacham inata wala kan and i was asked to come and answer bitum to mole yate command kay ne danko and i was told that they had instructions in fact the guy that i mentioned that i recognize Profusely, uh, profusely apologize that I mean it was not his doing. He was acting under instructions that I should be, I should report to Farafanya Police Station. Between Nilmanu Nata Teng Namen Fokongate Mari Sutele, Wunata Mbolo Sai Kendeke, Ka Aitan Dinako Nimankan Diante Fangway, Nangan Yateng, but between Yentel Kile, Amuntan Telbo Kilaria Silo Lekang Yole Fonya Prunsa, Foye Yete Danku, Farafanya Police Station Auto. How many of how many officers came uh, to arrest you? In tanko tanko bunda mol mo jelal na reno makai samba. Ah, three four. Ako bida mo samba fomo na anifang. What were they wearing? Ye mo fancy fal lel dum. They were all in mufti. Man uniform dum ebe ni ying fero fata kensa on lem tenro. You did mention that you recognized one among them. Do you know which security outfit he belonged to? Yeah, for Janko, most of the day, Kono Jay Yemen Sudi. For Yalon Nabura na Tanko Bunda for Najumalto. He was with the National Intelligence Agency, NIA. Umari Bedu Kola, NIA. The people that came to arrest you, were they armed? More men not here, no Kampurke, some before, Joran Tarte Bulebang. Not visibly. Joran Hana Bebul Amamfinti Maje. Were you the only one that was arrested then? At that point, yes, I was the only person taken from MRC to Parafenya Police Station. Ha, walunde wal tembo nte drone moto ya membundi MRC kata Parafenya Police Station auto. Did they tell you the reason for your arrest at that point? Oh, at all of them four. Yeah, four. Ne dali lo me ya sabu ye inate no kampurge sambaba. No, they didn't. Hani imam femfonye. What happened when you arrived at the police station? Silam mune nata nake, bri ni furata police station auto. When I arrived at the station, I found um Fakeba Sise and my colleague and Joroba already detained behind the counter of the police station. Ako bira furata raje, akafunyo lumen ko Fakeba Sise Joroba aninga kafunyo kotengulu ayata ra wolu yolu na tijele faka pare be siring konti waro koma. Do you know where they arrested Fakeba and Yerosise? Fakeba Yoro, and Yerosise. Yeroba, sorry. Yeroba. Yala na ye muda mindo leba? No, I don't. And I can't remember if we had a conversation about that. Ako ahakilo mawa woje amalong ye mutadami andunga ahakilo maje fo anio fo neneo kachale. But I know they were in Farafenye. Um, exactly where they were arrested, I don't know. Akubara ya alonde, ulufanalu be farafenye le nungu tumu, bari ye mutal di nkira me mfango kilinto, akama ulo. When you arrived at the police station, did they tell you the reason for your arrest? 
Bri ini for the police station or for ya for in a dalilo me as a buye murabang ke samba. No, they didn't as well. Aku hani imam fem fem fai fanam bri for the police station or. Did they have any conversation with you around uh, with respect to why you were there in the first place? In the case of the bank, the city of Dalilo me as a buye samba jeba. In the case of the bank. They just asked me to join Fakeba and, and, and Yoro on the bench. Then after a couple of hours, they told me that they had instructions to go and search my residence. Kwenyene duronko, taye kafu yinye nkafu nyolma Fakeba ni Yoro ibesiri ndame kata kafu ulma ibesiri msira njangu menkang. Akata ata sijili. Wokola long inatakang ikaya nkuha. Yinye nkamu fanan soto lede. Did they tell you where the, those instructions were coming from? No, they didn't. Did they show you any warrant that they had to search your place? Did they had to search your place? No, they didn't. Did they show you any warrant that they had to search your place? No, they didn't. Did they show you any warrant that they had to search your place? So what happened when you went with them? So I went with them to my house. Um, then I was living with um, a colleague and a brother, um, Usman Bojang. So um, they asked me, it was a three bedroom apartment. They asked me where my bedroom was. I directed them in there. Ako anita tano yana tu mama na biri futa bungo to katu otembo adam amanke kwa adam manne bungo kono bungo lo me ya longo la bungo kono sabale bije aning adoma le bungo ni yungo je aninga kafunywa ma momundi na fansung la bungo kono baria te bungo me yungo na te kela daming aijele itandila itatalungo bungo le kono. So they conducted a search in my bedroom. Um, I had a lot of books, lots of papers. We went to. Almost everything. I mean, they were even going through page by page for for it to. I mean, looking into some of the documents that I had for like maybe one hour, thirty minutes, two hours. Ako ibije biri duntaje kaito lunim buko lako katu buku jamale ba te buluje aning kaito lo bitum biri dunta bungo kono wo kaito lo yolo beleji be killing killing buko lo nyinu ako andumfang do lo bije yolo lera killing lera killing jubele puru nyin kamala be kibari nyinu men ako abita hanu for montro wati killing nintu for montro wati fula nyong yemenke bungo kono je wotu mo biri ani dunta je do you know what they were searching for yalo na itarata kamu nyinu ba not exactly. Hani otembo malo mfango fango ila sulo mwenti. Ika menyini. Mike. Did they tell you what they were searching for? Oya fwa yana itaraka menyini ba? No. Hani. After one or thirty minutes of searching, did they find anything? Yeah, we kabri yewi stiri yoke kata membita fwa montro wati killing fwa montro wati fula. Fwa inare na fengele ba? They didn't see whatever they were looking for because we all left empty-handed. Ah, e kama ni nini imaji? Katu birimbe bola je, mbe bulu kolong le fanam bota je. And you went back to the station, correct? Yes, we went back to the station. Alnar na murun kamuru kwa the station or? Did you remain at the Farafanya police station? Fulum. Come again. Did you remain at the Farafanya police station? O par Farafanya police station or? Ina na tu gele bang kasa bati gele bang. Um, we remained there for maybe a little while. Then they came and told us that they had instructions again that we needed to be transported to Banjo, police headquarters at Banjo. No, what did you do? What did you do? What did you do? You did not go to the police station. 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 Who was in charge of the Farafanya police station at that time? I can't remember for certain, but it it could have been one day Bojame. I knew he was there, but I'm not sure whether this was exactly during his time or not. Ako hakilo tamu tano la jumalo mnyato nkoti je watembo. Ako bari mubije de, ikafume dembo jame. Bitu mfatilo mnyato nkoti bang, fo dole beo nyato je bang, akama alo mbari nyin dembo jame to, wabije le nungo tumo. No, what I said, what I said, what I said was, dembo was the head of Farafaja police station, 
at some time, but I'm not sure exactly where that during my arrest it was Dembo who was heading Farafenya or somebody else. Ako what is it on that Dembo lem Farafenya police station or Nyaton court? Ako baribi baate mutala watu meng amangko ya mafu halimbi Dembo lem Nyaton court je bangfa mangke Nyaton court au mangko ya mabake. Can you tell us what happened when you arrived at the, the Banjul headquarters? Silang afu mo le bang bring ini fura da Banjul police court da baro muna na rana ke wara. So when we arrived at Banjul, we were we were taken to um, the office of one Mr. So, believed to be, I believe, was the um, crime management coordinator at the time. Ako brief to the Banjul, yes, samba mo le la office to ikafume Mr. So. Ako alata la nungo utumo wole moti memmarata nyinkulu maranya la ka menu kumandi ko ekukuru le ka fo me crime management bunda nyin of Mr Sole Bijenu CMC ako ya isamba wole la officer to Did the CMC tell you the reason for your arrest CMC officer nyindo je brief ra je fo woli ya fo enda bandali lo me asabu ye muraba No he didn't even talk to us directly we were, after some minutes, we were ushered in the office of um, one Malam in CC at the time, the head of the major crime unit. I think he was an inspector and a police inspector at the time. He, I mean, he was the head of major crime. Akotumo ekafume major crime. Wole mnyin kukurumbalo. Wole mu bunda nyaton koti nu. Ye samba wole la ofisoto. At this time, it was you, Fakeba Sise, and Yoruba. Munda nyinta nyin waro la saing itelamu Fakeba Sise and Yoruba. Yes, the three of us. Ako iteli nyin mo sabo wole mnu otumo. What transpired at uh, the office of uh, the inspector, Malam and Sise? Initially, when we entered the office, he was there with one another, I mean, officer that I only recall to be called Mane. Akoi be dun na je tumo mena, ayo ning officer do tara je bari hakilo se me muta no wola koto e kafu e ne Mane i hole tara ning police wola officer do. Then later, um, another office, more officers came in one. Lamin Cham, whom I have known personally, and another person whom I later came to know to be Boto, Boto Keta. Ako kola mu fula fana na tetraje, do ikafai Lamin Cham, ikafu do Boto Keta, ulu fana na tadung ikanje Keta ra ofiso konoje. Then Fakeba and Yoro were asked to move, to be moved to another office, then I remain with them. So in atafo Fakeba ni Yoro, isi ulu samba office do kono. Between at the damn man and two officers, you know, and any more, I mean, no footing. It was there, and the only time that they told me that I was arrested in, <coughs> I, w I was arrested. Excuse me, I was arrested in connection with the Freedom newspaper. A quick jail in a tough fire and co. Ne muta dalilo menkang wolem in Freedom kibar kaito kunya luti. Then they asked if I knew anything about the paper, and I said yes. Because I subscribe to the paper and I read news that they publish. They ask if I know Panderimbai in person and I said no. And they asked if I did communicate with him and again i answered in the negative ya nyinin ka foina ka nyomu le bal kadia mu nyoy na bang akoy hani that if we had ever exchanged any form of message like emails or so and I, again i said no ya nyinin ka fo al ka kibaro ki nyoy na ba menu be ko email wa na nyon ko tangolo akoy hani then they asked me to give a statement as to that effect. At this point, did they charge you with any offense? No, I wasn't. Did they verify the information you gave them concerning your relationship with the paper? 
kibaro men di la fo ina na kibaro nyin ka ka jaba kese woto ka korosi ka jube ko sujini kibaro kibar kai ro nyin na ba not true any means that i know of well ya ke nyaw nyandi nyam mam fello to tembo so you provided a statement to that effect munde na ina te ne kuma kan wodi safero ro jeto tari arinke they asked me to give a statement describing myself where i work my qualification what work i do and what do i do with freedom newspaper utumolo ikai asikuma kan safi ka fo my statement atele mu jumaati abota min abe do kola damin anin abe mun do ku fasonne la anin aka mune tamande aka mune ke freedom ki bar kaito la koluto i did that i signed it and gave it to them aka yo ke aya sign aya dealer after handing over your statement to them what happened briel kuma kan dila fay pare da mun nara nake i later realized that my colleagues fakeba and yoro did the same but they i mean eventually by around 4 pm we were ushered into the holding cell at the police headquarters in banjul to spend the night there ako anata lonko fakeba ni yoro wul fanali o ku kilingo leke yo safer kilingo leke ako bari e inata je ko wura roma famala ye bondi ye samba ke bulandi selo ko no ikamulu mutadami were you told that uh, you had the right to a lawyer at that point o wa to la fo inata ne ki barle ban ka fo e ko ye nyanto so de puru ini lawyer ye nyomo ye ban membe lole they didn't do that and they didn't read any of our rights to us ima woke andung ila nyanto mu fem fem difanan imam fem fo ye wala karola was your family aware of your arrest at this point la wulu la lo mbari la badi ngol fo ye la yimuto nyi ya kala mutale ba not through any formal channel imoke nyaw nyandi nyama imawlu kibari imelondi and you were not charged with any offense at this point mundo wato la hanin kabbi wotu mbere wotu mbere do ma hanin tumir da le kan ka foko yenyi neke no hani how did you feel being locked up in a cell without being charged with any offense and no one knows where you were ite o ko je nyadi le keta ke bula selo kono tumala men ne man tumir da tumir den i kango da ka fo ye luati nya ye nyinel tu nya luala karola andu imam mo fana ini mo fana mo ma fo fana ye nyineke i felt that my rights were have been infringed upon i mem muta do ngolem nyinti nyil ben to nyen kanne i ben nyan to le tinya kan and felt so bad about it andu ngakita kuti mem ku yata nya bake but again i think i i must confess that i underrated the extent they wanted to go with this because i down i downplayed it and thought that we were just going to be detained at banjul after giving our statement and we will be released the following day ako bare ay nyim mutanun ko nyin tekela ku kolenta tekela ku sangarati wala na ama ku kolenda famfe ako ama lon nun ko ko bina futala o tembeda to foke muta ke nati fo banjul kabo fara fenya kana fo banjul amanna da wala inati muta kane soron kaso kono selo kono aka mi ama mira nun kolbe futala to kato ate man kolu nun a fo folo dula to ama sangarandi nun wotumo so i was in infuriated at that point as i did later on which we will get there ako tembo akuya tay bare diminna ni kamfa jawo manna dunga kono ko menna ta dunga kono nyaato kolu nyaato kolu meta tumo menna tell us what happened the following day usamo afonyi muna nata nake so um we 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 spend the night there without them telling us anything giving us food in fact the last time i ate was um in the morning in farafenye then the following morning ako yes huto laaje wo nyaale imam fem fem foye akon dum iman do muridi la ibe je wo nyaale ye laaje le fo somanda akon labam fang alabanta domoro menke la wolem ay domoro menke fara fenye saate ko no somanda na manke woti iman do muridi dum ina teeti wole nyaama ye la o selo ko no wole nyaama fa somo then we were called out um to mr malamin's inspector malamin cis office again the three of us i mean myself fakeba and yoro ako kota ke somanda inate kumandi kate dankun inspector malamin cis la office ota te fango fakeba and yoro and we are again informed that they got instructions again that we should be taken to the ni headquarters ako bitu njeli nyum fa kota ke ko ibe telu be sambala ni ela korda ba nyineto and we were transported by one driver called Fode Kamara whom I later came to know to be named Fode Kamara um was a driver who 
took Australia NI headquarters. A commentate bundi police case, Samba NI Ela Corda Bato, dry for them, Icafome for the camera. A mau lungo to mode, our tembo, a mau lum, co cola, long and atal, long con you drive volte, Icafome for the camera, Wole bundi police case, Samba NI Ela Corda. Upon arrival, we were taken to um, an office manned by one Bach Samba So. I could believe that the NIA. Ye samba officer mentor, member of officer like a fole, but samba so. We will later come to know that the office was the investigations department and it was simply called by them as invest in court. A co co cola, Ibinalo Naco, officer Marta Kisikisirola. Ning bring co marrying alum in Atalong, officer, Ije Tola Mena, a cafojele invest, Willem Kisikisro Bunda. Then we were ushered in and asked to sit down. It was there that um, I met Malik Mbub, who testified here um, last year. Um, again, when we met him, he was so neatly dressed in suit that I thought he was an NIA officer, only to learn that. He was a detainee when he was ushered in the cell with his with his visit suit. So <laughs> I mean it was something else, yeah. Ako wo Malik Mbu menene nata sede aro la jang. Ako follow to fang at yamera o fangu ena e do kulalti katu dun fenima bale bala suto le bala dunding. Ako bari brina tate nuolu be itel nuo be muta ke dundi selo kono, ako tumolo anata lonko e yara nyim manke ena euti. Prior to detaining us in the cells, we spent basically the whole day in that invest department, in an office in the invest section or the department, however you like it. In the office, we spent basically the whole day in an Apart from uh, Malik Mboub, With whatever we do, Gion is no la. With whatever we do, Halei de Muniscola, Nepam Nene could look cool, Nepangi Ragala Gaina, Nepam Nene could look cool, Ibuloke no more to Nibeti Sola, Ibuloke da to Nibeto Dola, hey, Jam for Jama Bendulala, Yefo Motanka is in Adulu Tanka, hey. Ni dega 
Nous avons fait un peu de temps. Nous 